Hi there, welcome back. It's been a month. It's time for me to do a review on Georgia Cyber Academy, our charter online school. Stick around and I'll let you know all about it in this video. One country mommy. Hopefully this one month review can help you either see that you're not alone because you're going through some of the same things or prepare you for some of the things that you have upcoming if you had a later start date. This first month has been crazy. It's been filled with stressed out teachers, <laughs> frustrated parents, um, upset children, and so, but even with all of those things, I still am very happy to be here. I'm much happier to be here than to try to figure out digital learning again this year or brick and mortar. I have friends who tried to, who are doing a digital learning and I have friends who are going to integrate their kids back into the brick and mortar schools as soon as possible and I can't find one person this year who does not have a problem with some type of schooling. So that being said, that's my little disclaimer. <laughs> Um, positives we still love Georgia Cyber Academy um, and they're getting done with school <laughs> I mean like I mean it's school how many positives are you gonna really have I mean especially coming I never liked school and so my kids don't like school so when they don't like school we're like yeah you're not supposed to like school it's something it's mandatory mandatory things are seldomly fun so again like I said this that we First thing we're dealing with is a lot of stressed out teachers. Um, I'm on a lot of different message boards for this school and a lot of the teachers are just, I feel so bad for them. They're really stressed to the capacity. They're stressed to the max. They're stressed out for a number of reasons. Um, it's a lot of new equipment for them. They've got a lot of new rule changes and also just the class sizes in general. Class sizes have been a hot topic with all of the parent meetings, the PTA meetings, the town halls, the different discussions, the, the uh, surveys that they've been sending us. But because these classes are huge, they're ridiculously huge. Some of the classes have gotten up to 150 students wow. that I know of. I don't even know if that's the largest number, but that's just the largest number that I know of and that I've heard of. The problems that that caused is not only does it overwhelm the teachers and they can't fully do what they need to do with each child the children get frustrated like my daughter she's so frustrated because she's been trying to turn in her all about me uh, project that they got assigned day one on August 3rd she's still been trying to call um, put her hand up all she's been putting her hand up all of this time so she can turn in her project but the teacher just still hasn't got to her yet because there's so many kids and I have to keep telling my daughter to be patient be patient the teacher will get to you so if you have a start date I have know a lot of people who have a start date of August 31st if you have a start date of August 31st or if you started later just be prepared for login issues there's still a lot of login issues um, access issues you'll be you'll get your you'll finally get your login but then you're not you can't get your access to Moby Max or you can't get access to little sponges or you can't get access to clever and there's a lot of different platforms that you have to have and so they have to give you the correct access and so you have to get online get a ticket basically and get online and wait for them to be able to help you with your issue and so be prepared for login issues for access issues also, they are not able to house this capacity, so when everybody's logging on, a lot of times their systems are just crashing. Clever crashed at one point, um, Jigsaw was down because there just was so many people. So just be prepared for a lot of tech issues that they're still trying to work through. And these aren't tech issues that's because they're new to uh, GCA. These are tech issues because there's just so many people. Be prepared to not have a schedule for a while. We didn't have our, we didn't get our first schedule until after the first week of school. We were supposed to have our schedule by that Monday, but it took a whole nother week to have the schedule. Um, there are a lot of new teachers being hired, a lot of new FSLs. Be prepared for the newness. So you're going to be looking for guidance from them, but they're brand new too. The teachers, you're looking for guidance for them, but they're brand new as well. And so it's every everybody and everything is new. So just understand that they have a new program. This new style is only a year old, so they're still trying to get to that. Their new, the new, the new scheduling, the fact that they've broken away from K-12, that's brand new. Everything is new with this system, so with anything new, just be prepared to help them, help the school and the teachers get the bugs and the kinks out. Be prepared for unsupervised children on the jigsaw. And so some of the kids are using like vulgar language in the chat and doing like crazy stuff in the background. Be prepared for naked parents. <laughs> 
or parents not realizing that the camera has been turned around on them dad's walking by the screen and mom's walking by the screen and not realizing that the kids camera is on oh my gosh it's been so entertaining <laughs> already also if you are a parent who makes your child get up and get dressed and really and focus on school and come to a certain area and, and be in school mode be prepared for your child being upset with you because they're looking on there and they see other kids who are not as prepared as they are you know they can see all the other kids in the if they have more of a lax setting in their home your kid is going to be able is seeing that and so be prepared for your kid looking at you like you told me i couldn't come to school with my pajamas on yes i can he's got his pajamas on or be prepared for your kid saying you told me i couldn't do school in my bed yes i can she's in her bed look she's laying on her pillow you told me i couldn't sleep in school look look that kid is asleep <laughs> Or seeing what the other kids are doing is gonna be challenging because I know like my kids keep on wanting to just like engage with the kids and play on the chat <laughs> even though the teacher keeps saying stop talking in the chat and I have to keep reminding my kids this is the same thing like talking in school would you talk during class if the teacher says no talking you have to say no talking right when the teacher is teaching do you talk while the teacher is teaching no so you can't be chatting he's in my kid is like but he said something about Roblox I gotta respond and I'm like no you don't have to respond <laughs> that kid is getting in trouble don't worry that kid is gonna the teacher's gonna handle that kid or that kid's parent is gonna handle them eventually hopefully hopefully so there's one last thing i wanted to make sure i showed you guys and went over i wanted to show you just how many emails you get in about a 24-hour basis you see this is from 20 hours old i'll start there i deleted all the other emails so you could really just get an idea of how many emails or you're getting a day from the teachers and the assignments tons of math even when you see here like the names here those are still that's the teacher and structure canvas you guys know we use canvas as well and so that's a that's a lot of emails that's not even like the most usually on Fridays it's way more emails this is a Tuesday and so it's not as many emails and so that's about how many in a day so again <laughs> be prepared for the communication if you have multiple children you're gonna have more emails and more communication daily so many different places you have to go check and make sure of you have to check all the different platforms you have to check the to-do list that's right on the dashboard you also have to check in the modules individually some of the modules will say some of the courses will have a different tab that says assignments and some will just you'll just have to go into each of the modules and figure out what assignment is due that day and then others i mean some assignments show up some assignments don't they're timing you out they're locking you out you don't know and so you'll get the email saying like assignment created and things like that you can follow the links to these emails as well and if you're looking you can see these aren't just like a bunch of duplicate emails these are all like different you can see this as evolve and solve math stampede live love graph and so these are different emails these are this is all math but it's different assignments and so also there's tons of quizzes <laughs> tons of homework just be prepared for school all right guys wanted you to see that who knows what else we're gonna see this has only been a month this has only been a month what else is coming what else is coming along the line down the train what's coming on the train i'm on the train tracks what kind of train is coming to run me over <laughs> in these next couple months i don't know i was looking for videos like this on the internet and i couldn't find any before i started before i got into this thing so i hope this video helps somebody this has been my one month review thanks for checking it out baby's crying i gotta go